guys, Rare McCoy 411. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please take the time to go ahead and subscribe. The little red button down at the bottom that says subscribe. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm waiting. Okay, I think you've done it by now. Okay. Okay. So, and then also click the notification bell. Very important. Let you know every time I put out a video on my natural hair journey. Very important. Sometimes you have to click that bell twice in order for it to actually do the job. Okay? Okay. So, two things. Um, I'll get to this afro in a minute. But if you live around a Walgreens, on Shea Moisture right now, and it's buy one, get one 50% off, right? I found these big bottles. Right? They're offering bonus 50% more free. $2 coupon attached. I didn't find a $2 coupon, but it was, it's already, it's a big bottle of Shea Moisture. I got the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo. I got that. I used that last night. I also got the Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner with Sea Kelp and Argan Oil. I got that last night. Y'all look at the size of these bottles. I am done. I, I, I'm good. I'm good for a while with these bottles. Okay? I'm good for a while. So I'm going to set those over there. I mean, last night I did do the LCO method on my hair. And I use, for my leave-in, I use the Shea Moisture Strength and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. And then I also, for this LCO, that was the leave-in. For the cream, I use my TGIN. I used my TGIN last night for my cream. And then, of course, for my oil, I use my Shea Bay oil mixture that I have put together and used on the strands of my, my hair. So, my hair is very soft right now. So, what I did was, in the back, I started to play around with the Magic Rollers just to get some practice before I actually came to you guys, okay? So... I didn't use a mousse or anything. I just used what I had on my head. So these are the results. So I think with me using the mousse and wetting that area and everything, we may have some very good results. So I have my spray bottle on hand. And I'm like, do I use the Cantu? Or do I use the Coconut Restore? Uh, I couldn't remember if the Cantu flaked. Or not. I just can't remember if it flaked. But even if it does, I think I'm going to go with the can too. And I'll just show you how I do one. And then we'll speed up the video. And then if I have something to say, I won't do that one. Which I don't know if this is the like the right size or if I could go bigger or not. I don't know. Anyway, let's go. So we wet that part. Two pumps of mousse, which may be way too much for this little part. If it is, you know, I preserve. Okay, now what I have seen is a couple of young ladies take the roots and they like two strand twist it, right? Just the root of it. Then they bring it back like this. And I'm going to use one of my smaller ones on here, I think. 
and you always want to keep And that's it guys. It's snapped on and it's done. Oh. But I'm gonna space those out more. Use my bigger ones up here, my smaller ones on my sides, and then like my little my back parts right here. So I'm gonna be quiet and I'm just gonna go ahead on and put these in. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. pretty much put these little spoolies all over my head and I have like probably one two more to put in and I have four little spoolies left so I wanted to come back and tell you my technique what I did to put them in I wet my hair I used the can too now when I rolled I rolled 
backwards. I think it's because it was easier for me to roll backwards because of the length of my hair. So I'm not really for sure how they're going to turn out or anything, but yeah, I rolled, I put it on the spoolie with this part out and I made sure that my hair was flat right there and I just rolled backwards. And that's because of the length of my hair. What I do is I come in and I go under and I make sure that part right here is flat which is my ends and then I just rolled up and I learned that from my sister-in-law so this leaves me with a little smooth spoolie and a big spoolie so I have my hair completely rolled and some of them are flipped like, I'm definitely going to have to go back and do something with that. Because you can see my curl. I will get back with you guys when it's time to do the takedown. And I really appreciate you guys supporting me. I really do. Thumbs up for really supporting me. I see a turn that's about to happen in my channel. So, I'm very excited. And I'm very excited that you, you guys are, are going to be here to witness the turn. So just stay tuned. Great things are about to happen for Real McCoy 411 on my natural hair journey. Keep God first in everything you do. And I do mean everything. And I will see you guys for the takedown. And I probably even have my eyebrows brushed or something. <laughs> I'm so silly. All right then. Talk to you guys later. Okay guys, change of plans. Since I've put all these up, <laughs> um, the family actually wants to go out and do something today. So now I have to be on a mission to dry these. And I really do feel like this is going to turn into some type of wet and go. Because the moose is there. But I'm going to try to dry these. So. Stay tuned. Medium heat. Put it burn it. Just in case. I don't know if they're all the way dry or not, but I know we're about to go, and I know I need to go get ready, so either this worked or it didn't work. I did use my bonnet, 
I sat under my bonnet for 30 minutes. I did use just a hand trying to go perch, you know, by one by one. So, let's see. We can only see. I'm going to start in the front so that we can get some true stuff. And this is not dry. not dry try to keep it straight that way because I knew as soon as I put the water on it I knew what was going to happen it was going to revert back and it did just that so let's see if I can It kind of looks just like the the uh, twisting curls that I did with twisting my hair and rolling it up with the perm rod. Put me a couple bobby pins up. Pretty much wore it, wear it like I had it yesterday. Except it was dry yesterday. <laughs> so I'm hoping for the same results, guys. Um I think these are very creative. I think these will work very well. Um, but I'm going to put them away until my hair grows a little longer. Or until I get a chance to completely blow out my hair and apply them uh, without water. But with using um, a mousse. With using a mousse but with no water. My hair did not dry none whatsoever. I mean, it's dry a little bit, but as far as drying under those spoolies, no, it did not. I see a couple of curls in there, and I'm going to keep those couple of curls in there. And I'm going to go and spend this day with my family. So we're going to try them again. Um, whenever I get a chance to blow out my hair, and probably when my hair is a little bit longer, okay? So, keep God first in everything you do, and I do mean everything. I did not get the results that I wanted, but I do have something that I can work with. So, you guys have a blessed day. Keep God first. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Please do. All right. Talk to you guys later.